Madhavanser, thank you so much for speaking with me today. I'm Malaika. I'm one of the hosts at Urban Asian, um, and I'm excited to talk to you about your role in Shaitan. Thank you, Malika. Very kind of you, and I'm looking forward to it as well. So kind of jumping right in, what made you interested in taking up a film that's of the supernatural genre? Because it's something new, right? The horror genre in the film industry. Yeah, so um, it is a little bit of horror, but mostly a thriller. It has, um, I've said this before, it is, uh, there is a difference between fright and fear. But this caters more to fear than fright. So there's nothing jumping out at you or making you know, feel uh, like a jump scare. But, but the going ons are such that it will hope, hopefully instill the primal fear of survival in the people who are watching the movie. Uh, I had seen the original Gujarati version and I thought it was a very interesting movie, very, very rewarding. And the premise was extraordinary. But uh, I, what Ajay and Vikas have managed to do it, uh, do uh, to the story and, you know, take it further is even more exciting. And uh, it was a wholesome film. I had, uh, I was surprised that they would uh, give me that role because uh, it's casting so much against the grain. Um, but once uh, they gave it to me and I, you know, I pulled out my fangs, I just dug deep in. And today I'm nervous as hell because I've never done something as evil as this in my life. And uh, it looks like people are <laughs> kind of, uh, kind of uh, uh, engaged with what I've done so far. Yeah, and that actually led me perfectly into my next question, which was whether or not you had watched the, the Gujarati film before kind of approaching your character in Shaitan. So did you take any similarities from the person who acted it in that film into your kind of um, interpretation of your character in Shaitan? Well, he's done a brilliant job on that film. And, you know, he was doing it the first time around, so he didn't have the benefit of seeing somebody else do it before yeah. he did it. And so on that account, he's done a brilliant job. Um, imitation is the biggest form of flattery. And uh, so as much as I'd like to say that I want to create the same impact as he did, I wanted to take it to another level because there was a disparity in the age uh, and the kind of shaitan that I wanted to play. I wanted him to be charming. I wanted him to be the devil incarnate without having to take himself too seriously. Um, also, because the story has changed a little bit, uh, there's a backstory to him. So, um, uh, so it required me to play it differently as opposed to what he's done. And I hope that I've managed to convincingly portray that as opposed to what we see in Gujarati. Yeah, and you know, you talk about kind of bringing your own kind of um, interpretation to it as well. And you have played more darker character roles, you know, namely in Vikram Veda, et cetera. But this is kind of the first time that mainstream audiences are seeing you in a, in a thriller slash supernatural type role. Um, how difficult was it for you to prep for your character? Um, kind of especially given just how sinister he is that we can see in the trailer. Yeah, so um, I've never played evil before ever. I have yeah. played uh, negative leads maybe in Yuba yeah. or in 13B or, or maybe in Vikram Veda or even Breathe on Amazon, right? But uh, I've never literally played uh, evil. So to be able to explore your, uh, your, you know, and dig deep in and come out with something that you've never seen uh, uh, your face ever do before in front of camera, after spending 25, 28 years in the industry is actually a huge blessing. Uh, and I'm really grateful that I got an opportunity to do this movie because uh, it's only when you dig that deep that you realize you have so much more to give. And now I'm wondering what else is left inside me that I can uh, pull out and surprise myself, not just the audience. Uh, for me, um, being that character, being uh, being somebody who enjoys the evil and the impact of his evilness on the on his subject was something that I've never done before. So I had to uh, pictureize it differently. Uh, but I don't want to say much about it right now because it look uh, um, as uh, somebody trying to already assume and be presumptuous about the outcome of the film. So I would like to talk about it later on after the film releases. And if it does manage to create the kind of impact, I think it well, then it makes sense to talk about it. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, you brought up saying that you've never played someone who is evil before. So, you know, having kind of delved into that new type of character arc, was it difficult for you sometimes leaving that character and who he was on sets kind of going home? How did you kind of differentiate between that? You know, a lot has been said about how people live in character and like, you'll, you know, find it difficult to get out of it. Uh, for me, Rocketry was one of that. I actually lived that character for four years of my life. Yeah. But not this one. This one, uh, the moment they, they said pack up, it was a cleansing. I just walked out and uh, 
we were so beautifully taken care of and lived in such amazing places and had such amazing food and great company that after the shoot it was a breeze we just enjoyed each other's company had a lot of chats and talks and uh, you know and then um, was back I was back on set early in the morning next day to finish the job which was highly demanding so i don't think this is one of those films where i took the character uh, away from the set yeah and that's that's great to hear as well that there was kind of that balance for you um yeah. and that perfectly leads me into my last question for you of what was kind of your favorite scene there's a particular scene that you had a great time either on set doing or something that was kind of eye opening for you again playing a new type of character is there one scene that for you sticks with you that you're going to take away from this film uh, yes there is um you know uh the I unfortunately can't talk about it before the release of the film but there is a scene okay. where um, where I was quite frankly impressed and horrified at the same time about what about how I could deal with something like that uh okay. it was really you know it is something that the mother of a child would never want to see and mm-hmm. how casually he takes that and makes it the most obvious thing uh, that has to be done and uh, I kind of got a little chill I think about what i'm capable of doing is not really a very pleasant experience yeah i i can um totally kind of imagine that and having seen your character in the trailer as well is something completely different than audiences have seen you um as well so thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me um and i'm really excited to see shaitan when it releases in theaters and see the new kind of avatar of you on screen so thank you <laughs> you're very kind malaika thank you so much thank giving you giving my fingers crossed yeah